During the operations in Brazil, Bosnia, Medjugorje, Spain, Italy, Niger, Portugal, all over the world, the phenomenon of this amazing pulsating sun has been filmed, but this phenomenon has also been reported by many witnesses, astonished people looking at the sun. There can be no doubt the miracles, the prodigious signs which at first took place in Fatima in 1917, they are now happening again in other parts of the world. Paratico, 1998. Children, do not look for miracles. Live by my messages and pray. San Bonico, message number 51. You should never request a miracle. Instead, you should constantly pray and then the Lord will decide to whom he will send a miracle and when. Blessed are the innocents because they are wise, and blessed are those who believed and have not yet seen. While appearing at San Bonico and at Paratico, where it was pouring down and then it suddenly stopped to rain, and where the sun rotated and pulsed, the Virgin Mary herself said that the signs should not be asked for, so the miracles should not be asked for either. Nevertheless, the same signs have been given and they all remind of Fatima. Why? It looks like Virgin Mary wants to tell us that Fatima is still here and it has not been fulfilled yet. The Church should have revealed the great secret of Fatima in 1960. Inexplicably, it was openly revealed with a delay of 40 years in 2000. The Church said the last message was already fulfilled in 1981 with the attempt on Pope John Paul II. Let's see this video. I would like to know if you can state that the third message of Fatima concerns just a past event, that the vision has been fulfilled and that we should fear no danger in the future. I think so. Of course, martyrdom is a reality in all ages. In this sense, it can concern the future, too. There is no century without martyrdom. But here we have a very specific story of persecution violence, destruction of human cities and human beings. I think that this world of war, violence, destruction culminated finally in the attempt on our Pope. This is the concrete and positive content of this vision, which does not indicate the path of future history, but it tells us that martyrdom is a fact of this century. It indicates to us that we should respond to martyrdom with penitence, conversion, by giving strength to love against violence. Surely the message is not pointing to other future events. As you have seen in 2000, a journalist asked Cardinal Ratzinger, does the third Fatima secret concern only the past? Has it been already fulfilled? Is there any danger for the future? Cardinal Ratzinger answered, martyrdom is a common reality to all centuries. The message of Fatima tells a story of persecution, violence and destruction that finally culminates in the attempt on Pope John Paul II. This is the positive content of Fatima and does not indicate anything else for the future. He has added these words. It certainly does not indicate other events. So mathematically the Church said then that the secret of Fatima has been fulfilled in 1981 with the attempt on the Pope. Let's see what the messages say. Antonio Visionary in Capua, Caserta, 2001. 
Very soon the cavalry will come down for those who crucified me. Fatima's revelations, pay attention, have just begun. What? Our Lady has claimed it is all the way around. These revelations are being carried right now. They have started. Trevignano Romano, Apparitions in Rome 2020. All that has been revealed in Fatima is now taking shape here, right before all the eyes of the disbelievers. She says it again here, it's not been fulfilled. See, my daughter, all this needs to be clarified for the good of humanity that is getting lost. The Virgin Mary rightly asked to shed light on this message. Giampilieri, Apparitions in Sicily, 2010. Now you start leaving what I have predicted in Fatima. Here again she corroborates the same story. For the last years of this century, and which is still preserved under the veil of secrecy. On May 13th, 2010, Pope Benedict XVI went to Fatima in Portugal and made this speech. Let's see this video. Those who think that the prophetic mission of Fatima is already concluded are deceiving themselves. Men were able to unleash a cycle of death and terror, but they couldn't interrupt it. May these seven years that separate us from the centenary of Satima's appearances hasten the foretold triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. For the glory of the Holy Trinity. Amen. Those who think that the prophetic mission of Fatima is already concluded are deceiving themselves. What did he say? We've heard him well. Those who think that the prophetic mission of Fatima is already concluded are deceiving themselves. But in 2000, he said the message given in Fatima had already been fulfilled. In 2010, Ratzinger said that it was not fulfilled, therefore contradicting himself mathematically. The Church, of course, lied. This is not just an opinion anymore. What do the messages say? Olivetro Citra, 2019. The secret of Fatima has revealed all that is happening now and what is going to happen in the world and in the church. All the lies that have been spread will be exposed. Brothers and sisters, never fear, be carriers of truth and the truth will never be destroyed by any lie. Carbonia 2014, Apparitions in Sardinia, Fatima is now going to be completely revealed. Everything will happen exactly as the Holy Virgin Mary had prophesied to the children shepherds. Also, the part of the message kept secret by the Church will be made public to the eyes of men. It is confirmed then the Church has hidden the truth, has lied, and everything will happen according to the version that Our Lady had announced, not the version by the Church. Why has Ratzinger lied? Let's still try to understand him by listening to what he said, by listening to his sentences. This is a sentence by Benedict XVI. The believers who belong to Masonry are in a condition of grave sin, and then they are forbidden to receive the Holy Communion. Freemasonry was the enemy of Benedict XVI and is the first enemy of the Church. Gaetano Marino 2010, who was the Pope in 2010, Benedict XVI. My enemy strongly attacks the Pope. Luz de Maria, 
apparitions in Argentina, here it is more specific, Freemasonry and many other sects connected with, with communism are fiercely plotting against my son's church. Their strategies are now bearing their fruit against my beloved Benedict XVI. His heart will suffer in my land, but in Fatima I'll show him the future sorrow. Carbonia 2013 Pope Benedict wants his freedom back, but his freedom lays in the truth. There is no truth for those who do not practice the truth in fullness in my gospel. His role has been determined by those who manage the Vatican. Who are they? They are not my children. They have sold themselves to the Illuminati, to the power of black misery. Here it is. Pope Benedict XVI has been influenced by black masonry and we have got more tangible evidence. Let's see this video. The world can therefore seize this opportunity to fulfill the long-held promise of a new world order. A new world order, a civilization of love, can be achieved. May God guide us and bless us as we strive to walk together hand in hand and build together a world of peace. The modern man is grown up and yet sometimes he is weak in his thoughts and his will. Let yourself be taken by the hand by the child of Bethlehem. Do not be afraid, trust him. The life-giving power of his light encourages you to commit to build a new world order founded on fair relationships, both ethical and economical. Here the story does not add up at all. Pope John Paul II, Pope Benedict XVI and George W. Bush speak in the same way. They have announced the need to enter a new world order. I have already explained it in other videos. This unique government, this big world government, is the government of the Antichrist, which the masonry is preparing. Therefore, the Freemasonry has infiltrated the Vatican and is well rooted there and has gained a great decision making power which is higher than the power of the Pope himself. Thank you.